What's up guys, Justin here with the realtimeessentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to import sprite sheets into Unity and use them to create animations. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so you can use sprite sheets for a lot of different things, but basically what they are is they're files um, that have multiple different images contained inside of them, right? So if I open this one up, for example, notice how this is basically a collection of two-dimensional images that are cut out so they have transparency around the outside of them. And so we can use these in order to add variation to the different things that we're doing inside of Unity. So for example, you can use these as emission pieces um, inside of particle systems, or you can do what we're gonna do in this video today, we're gonna create an animation using these. And so first thing we wanna do is inside of Unity, you wanna make sure that you go to your window package manager, and you wanna make sure that you've gone to your Unity registry and you've enabled 2D Sprite right here. So 2D Sprite is gonna give you the ability to create an editor or use a editor window in order to basically split up the different sprites so that Unity can read them. We'll talk more about that in a second, but make sure that you have this installed. So next, we're gonna download our asset pack. So you can download this particular, you can download this particular asset pack by going to, um, this is one that I found on itch.io. Um, I will link to this in the notes down below. It's from Brulov. So um, you can either download it for free or when you click on the download button right here, you can name a price and you can support the developer right here. So um, if you do have the ability to do that, I would recommend that you do that. But either way, you can also put a value or you can click on this button right here and you can just download them to follow along. And so now what I wanna do is I want to import one of those collections of fire into Unity. And so the way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna open up that folder that downloads, so it's going to look something like this. Notice how there's multiple different colors. We're just gonna open up the orange color and we're going to look for the loops folder. So basically what we wanna do is we wanna find the uh, burning loops right here and we wanna bring one of them into Unity. And in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pick the burning loop three just because the fire is a little bit taller. And I'm just gonna drag that into my materials folder. If you don't have a materials folder, you can definitely create one. But I'm gonna drag that in like this. And so when you bring that in, if you were to look at it, it's basically just going to treat this as if it was a regular image, right? So it's just treating it to like, as like a regular image file. So what we wanna do is we wanna go into this drop down right here for the texture type, and we wanna select the option for Sprite, 2D, and UI. And so once we've selected Sprite, 2D, and UI, the first thing we wanna do is we wanna set our Sprite mode to multiple, right? Because there's gonna be multiple sprites contained inside of this file. Well, once we've selected multiple, then we can go down and we can click on the up option for Sprite Editor, which will only show up if you enabled that Sprite function from inside of the Package Manager. But now if I click on this, and it's gonna ask me to apply these settings, I'm gonna say okay. If you click on this, what that's gonna do is that's gonna pop up a window that's gonna allow you to dictate the separation between the individual sprites in here. So, for example, on this one, what I wanna do is I wanna come in here and I wanna slice this up. And so the way that I usually do this is I usually do this by cell count because these are usually in here pretty uniformly. I'm just gonna tell this that this contains one, two, three, four, five, six cells on the C direction. So I'm just gonna type in a value of six right here. And I'm gonna click on the slice button. What that's gonna do is that's gonna split this up it's basically gonna split this up into six different pieces. So you could also add a little bit of padding in here if you wanted to. So you could add some like 10 padding or something like that. In this case, I don't really like what that did, um, but you could use that if you wanted to, to add a little bit more spacing between these. I'm just gonna do a control Z. I'm gonna leave it as is, and I'm gonna click on slice. And so what that's done is that's basically sliced this up into these six different pieces. Well now, we can come up here and we can click on the option for apply. There's other functions in here too. So like for example, if you're having trouble seeing this, like if you have gray colors like smoke that match with the background, you can click on this option right here in order to see this a little bit better. But we're just gonna click on the button for apply. And so once we do that, what that's going to do is that's going to basically apply this um, so that Unity can read each one of these individually, right? So now we're gonna close out of this window right here, because we don't need it anymore. And notice how now, if you click on this, there's a little play button. The play button is going to show you the individual sprites that are contained in here, like this. And so we could dump these into like a particle system or something like that. For what we wanna do right here though, I just wanna drag these into my scene. 
So I'm just going to, you don't want to drag it onto your surface right here because it's going to try to apply that as a material. Instead, I'm just going to move to where I can see some 3D space. And I'm just going to drag this in. Notice how when I drag this in, what this is going to do is this is going to automatically try to create an animation from the sprites that you dragged in. So in this case, I have an animations folder right here and I'm just going to call this fire animation dot a n i m and click on save that's going to automatically create a looping animation based on your fire and so i'm just going to go back over here and i'm going to take my game object and i'm going to align it with my view right here that's going to place it in this location then i'm going to go ahead and place it inside of my 3d space like this so it's just above the ground i'm also going to scale it up a bit so we'll scale it maybe like a factor of three or something like that but now if you look at this and let's go ahead and align our camera to our view. So I'm just going to select my camera and do a game object align with view. But now if I click on the play button, what this is gonna do is this is going to play the animation of our fire. And I have this other particle system in here, which I wanna get rid of real quick, uh, cause we don't need that for right now. That's from our snow tutorial. But if you look at this, this is actually playing the animation of the fire. And what it's doing is it's just looping through the individual sprites. Now, if we jump into our animations folder right here, notice how it created two different animations. So um, in this case, we're gonna look at the controller more than anything, um, because that's gonna give us a little more control. There's not a ton going on over here. And so let's say we wanted to adjust the speed, for example, of how fast this is going. What you can do is you can double click on this controller. That's going to show us the animation and how it's set up. Well, if I drag this off to the side, maybe like this, so it's its own window, notice how if I have the fire animation set right here, it's gonna give me the ability to adjust the speed of my animation. So there's other things we could do with this too, but just really simply, let's say I wanted this fire to run a little bit faster, I could change this value to like a 1.5 or something like that. So if I set it to like a three, notice how it burns really fast. If I put it to 1.5, it's gonna cycle through it a little bit faster than we originally had in here. So we're not gonna worry too much about the other settings right now. Just know this is a quick, easy way to start creating those animations inside of your scenes using the sprite sheets. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you're using sprite sheets for. This is definitely something that we can get more into in the future, but I wanted to give you kind of an overview of the way it works. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.